Roy, he's got a very linear offstage game. He's only got a very small amount of options that he can pick at any given point. He's got jump, he's got air dodge, he's got upbeat. And if you can read which one of those is coming, they only go in like some very, very specific directions. So if you can catch that with something like a fair or a bear, you might be able to kill Roy very early. But putting Cola in that situation is something else entirely, as he already starts off by doing 41% in a single Nair string. Yeah, I mean, that's the Cola classic. Nair, Nair, fair, fair, and you're just already put in the corner. And that's where Cola tries to suffocate you and create that monumental lead that he's so well known for doing. Nice recognition by Jax, though, in that situation, realizing that the down angled uh, side B, the double edge dance, will cross shield there, so was ready with the turnaround. But he's got to get off ledge against Cole and actually does it with the ledge jump fair. Yeah, and right now Jax is definitely trying to capitalize on those with opportunities by using those, you know, the fairs coming out in neutral. I would like to see, there we go, there's the Nair that I was just about to hint at, that Jax can control his face, and Cole! Nair one jab back air, it's a bread <laughs> and butter for Roy, but it still amazes me every time I see it come through, and Cole puts it to good work to take the first stock away. I mean, the way that Cola is playing right now, you can see he is basically smothering options to make you try and play at his speed. And if, there's no way you're going to make decisions as fast as Cola is. Right, that's that's kind of a nutshell breakdown of how Cola plays in general. It's my reaction time is better than yours, and I know it. So I'm going to force you to play at a pace that you just cannot handle. But Jack still kind of holding his own here. He has Cola at 125 now, thanks to that Dolphin Slash. Going to be looking to take out a stock soon, but if he can't, it's going to be a very, very dangerous prospect. Yeah, and you can see Jax is even attempting to space his options, but Cola oh, just parried. Oh, they're both. Oh. No, he's not. Okay, it's just Jax that's dead there. So Jax can find a way to close this option out, but good use of the Dolphin Slash. Now, like you said, try and find what route that Roy is coming back to the stage. If he can figure out what telegraph option he has, you can stuff him out. The thing is, every time that Roy has been coming back to stage, it's been Cola that's in control. He's the one who's put Jax in that offstage position, and Jab F Smash comes through to kill it 80%. That's Cola taking game number one. There was a set at 404 where we had an invitational, and the finals were Cola and Mugen. I think Mugen killed Cola with that exact same setup listen, man, like four times. Listen, man, Jeff Smash is real, and it's real cool. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to continue to say it on commentary until Jeff Smash Jab F Smash becomes a commonly accepted turn of phrase. So shout outs to Cola <laughs> for giving me the opportunity to say Jeff Smash. Just I'm just like imagining a poor guy named Jeff, but okay, going to small battlefield with good this choice. Up. Yeah, uh, but I don't think it was the stage that caused the result of game number no. one. No, I think it was a decision making issue where Cola definitely forced basically forces decisions by changing that tempo like we've said. And you can see right, right. now, Cola choosing safe options, trying to get you to swing, and once you commit to something, gotcha, and then he's gonna run away with it. Does get the double fair, but neither one of them sweet spots, so Jax is able to make it back to stage rather quickly. A down tilt comes through, and Cola spaces that beautifully to get the side B, or the bear, excuse me. And that, you can see Cola is not going with the full double-edged dance combo to try and see how Jax is going to react out of it if he gives him that chance. Yeah, he's actually yet to hit the finishing hit on any of the, the main double-edged dance. He did the up-angled one first, Ooh. and well, as soon as I speak it, he does hit the side-angled one right there. And it's almost like it's our job to will that into existence, but Jax doing a good job keeping even keel with Cola right now. Ooh, Ooh, nice read on the tech end. Gets a down smash, but it's not nearly close enough to the ledge or not nearly high enough percent to K KO just yet. Yeah, and one thing I did want to say, Les, is that when you see those Ooh. nares hit that shield like that, you can't land with that like high rising nair on shield like that against Cola. He's immediately, you can see it right there, going for that grab, trying to punish your mistakes. Yeah, absolutely true. Roy has some very strong out of shield game and Cola knows how to use it. We're going to see those blazers, those uppies coming through a lot if you try and put shield pressure on him because well, let's not talk about that for a second. That harkens all the way back oh. to what I mentioned at the beginning of the set. While Cola does manage to take the stock back immediately thanks to the dash attack, that was a beautifully played edge guard by Jax, and that's exactly what we need to see if he wants to have a fighting chance in this set. You need to be edge guarding Roy as Lucina. Yeah, and that's the thing. Jax read the option, much like you said, oh, look and at was it able again. to cover it again. And there it is. This is a bad situation He's to be dead. In. He didn't need that side B, or that down B, rather. He's, he didn't need that either. Cole, wow. was, Cole was dead three hits ago, and he went out there just to make sure. That's two stocks to one for Jackson. I mean, the prophecy that I spoke into existence is now coming true. You need to edge guard Roy. Jax showing exactly why here. Oh my gosh. Oh, almost dead there again. Cole is so good at finding those opportunities to aggress and push his advantage against 
Jax right now pushed into the corner. Zach is dead. Uh, but now we are even one stock to one stock as Cola takes it back thanks to the counter on that Dolphin Slash. 36 now, 49% advantage for Jax continuing to build. We've seen Cola make these this percent deficit back in an instant. Great early up B to get past Jax's drop zone counter. Okay, again, scary situation. And there he is calling it out again. There it is. Three edge guards, three stocks. That's that's what you need to do against Roy. During the last game, he wasn't going for those edge guards nearly enough, wasn't setting up those edge guards nearly enough. And as a result, he got three stock, but now brings it to small battlefield, a stage where he has a little bit more control over the neutral, is able to put Cola in those off-stage situations, and as a result, we see Jax on the board. Yeah, and one thing that I would like to say is that Cola now takes it to battlefield. It is a little more congested, but I think this gives Cola so many opportunities to keep those up air trains that he has been running away with in advantage, just a chance to set them up. It's, the onus is on Jax right now to keep this momentum and just kind of slow down the pace of play so that you're not doing anything greedy against Cola. Yeah, but I love the Battlefield choice here coming out from Cola as his counter pick. Battlefield, a devastatingly scary stage against Roy because one of the worst places to be against Roy is on a platform above him. He can catch you with so much random shenanigans like the back air coming through or like the up air coming through or even up air back air is a, is a true combo at certain percent. So you need to be very careful of how you are landing against Roy or you might find yourself losing a stock way earlier than you had expected. Oop. There's a shield breaker. <laughs> yeah, and what Cola has been doing is just basically dictating this game by using safe poking moves. We saw he ended the last. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm going to say it. Up smash is Roy's worst move. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> uh, but Cola is still able to take the stock there. Actually, Dare is worse. I, I, I retract my former statement, but they're both bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it. They're, they're not the best moves, but good lord, when Cola is now getting this momentum rolling, you can see, oh, okay, he wanted he to end for the it dare all. There. We, we're, we're willing the bad moves into existence. <laughs> Cola heard me talking smack, and now he's like, oh, I'll show you a bad move. Gets this. the upbeat back to stage. Nice tech by Jax, though, to avoid the worst case scenario. Tries to chase deep and actually avoids the counter. I don't even know if that was on purpose, but Cola sure was lucky there. I mean, Cola is now at playing with that same type of fury that we saw in game one. He's looking to try and push these options on Jax, try and speed up the game. We saw when we were on small battlefield, Jax kind of just was able to float around and wait, put, push people off stage and then reset. But that's not the case anymore. Now with this pick to battlefield, Cola is, so, you can see how comfortable he is based off his movement in neutral. Back air comes through from Jax. He puts Cola deep off stage and does get the edge guard there. That's going to be a stock off, but at final stock, he's not going to be able to live too much longer, especially if Cola starts getting, well, a Cola stock going. He's looking for that inroads here. He wants the starter to his combo, but he can get these strings. That's the thing, it, it's either this down tilt, there's the, there's the nair into that fair. Now Cola can set up some of these options at ledge. We have, oh. We've seen him use Blazer at ledge, funnily enough, two great success throughout so far. He's landed a big one on Jax, but now, it's all about maintaining that pressure and closing this out if you are Cola. Oh, that's going to be a tech chase situation and good decision from Jax to not roll in against Roy. Please do not tech roll in against Roy. You will get F smashed and Jax avoiding the worst case scenario there, but he's once again at the ledge against Cola. Cola gets the parry into the F tilt. That was very close to taking the stock. Parries again and the up tilt is going yeah. to do it. I mean, it's basically, it's just up smash. It's a, it's a better smash. The, the big difference between up tilt and up smash is that up, up tilt, if you sweet spot, it kills earlier. Yeah. I mean, no, it still is solid gameplay from Jax. I would like to see how he reacts to this. I mean, you, you had a good game on small battlefield. And now smash, we're going to Smashville. Yes. So Cola probably banning out small battlefield <laughs> after how the last game on it went. So we run into Smashville, the other small stage, and I'm excited to see if Jax can bring us to a game five. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think one thing that Jax did very well when he was on small battlefield was, despite Cola being so aggressive in your face and looking for these starters, he's able to stuff them out because there's only so much room to work with. Good up B there to beat out the, uh, Sorry, I almost called it the double-edged dance, but on Lucina, it's Dancing Blade. On Roy, it's double-edged dance. And that sure is confusing when you see Lucina versus Roy, but well, you know what's not confusing is you need to hit a tech there. It's it's pretty much common knowledge. If you miss your techs, you're going to die in situations like that. And yeah. Jax proves to be no exception to the rule. No, I mean, Jax definitely now looking to try and get that offstage momentum that you talked about where we got to get Cola off, but Cola in the driver's seat solidly. He getting might be his dead. Okay. 
I mean, the way Cola is playing this ledge scenario right now without committing to too much, and again, taking Jax for a ride for so much damage. 75% already built up on Jax. Cola now has him at the ledge yet again, but Jax is able to get a uh, full hop fair onto the plat uh, onto the stage, rather, to get Cola off of him. Cola gets the shield up in time and misses the grab. But now, when you see this, Cola now sending him off stage, but here comes the F tilt. There Ooh. it is. Yeah, Cola is going out. He wants to close this stock, this game as fast as he can. Momentum's in his favor. Jax, good job covering that route, like you mentioned. Every single kill this set for Jax has been on the ledge or off stage. Take with that what you will, but I will say I was right. <laughs> I, absolutely correct in that regard. But right now, you can see Cola using that weight, the quick side B movement to get around some of the options from Jax. Here comes the quick down throw. And looking at how Cola is spacing his movement and trying to get Jax to swing at him, it is a, it's just so surgical how he's been playing this neutral. Comes back onto stage, the sour spot bear, not what Cola was looking for in that case. Jax has control of the ledge again. He's looking for this nair or something along the lines, and his F smash gets beat out by the last hit of Double Edge Dance. Cole looks to catch his get up with the back air, but doesn't do so quite yet. Another back air comes through. He's got Jax off stage. He's going to be looking for something at the ledge to do it here. Almost catches his landing with back air. You could see how he was trying to look for an option, like an air dodge in from Jax to try and cover that with a meteor hit, maybe like an F smash or a back air in some fashion, send him back off stage. What is he doing? <laughs> Cole went so deep off there looking for the KO is going to be able to tech the hit back up onto the stage though, so both of them are fine. That's going to be a back throw. He sets up the situation on platform, but Jax makes the smart decision and then makes the dumb decision immediately after. He made the smart decision by rolling away from Cola to avoid the back air he was trying to uh, set up, and then he made the dumb decision by air dodging towards Roy. If you air dodge towards Roy, you're going to die. That's yeah. just how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that F smash, is, that F tilt rather, such a devastating move. Cola used it so well to space out and push his advantage throughout that game. And like we said, this is only the entry into top 24. You can yeah. see this on any top three, 404. Yeah. So Cole.